Today on LEGO Friday, we are going to do a set that I have been waiting to do for years. It's so large I can't even get it into the shot. Let's go. We're now on day two. Let me show you what we have done to recap so far, and I will be showing you all the really cool things once we're done with the entire build. So there's the first floor, and we're starting on the second floor, and also we have the truck. So this is the finished set and I'm going to have to take you in and show you all of the secrets in here and I'm going to use my little light because it is so dark in there and so hard to see things which I think is maybe the drawback to the set is that once you put all these really fun details in you can't really see them. So let's start with this. So, future Lainey jumping in to say that this build took me days. And uh, once I was done with it, I really was too tired to do like a wrap up and all that jazz. So I decided that I would uh, leave it for a couple days and then come back to it. But my biggest complaint that you're going to see right now is the fact that once you put it all together, it is really hard to get things reset up. Uh, to see all those little details without completely taking it apart again. And that is kind of one of the complaints that I had about this set. It is gorgeous, but I feel like once you set it up, it has to just stay there and you can't even use the interactive parts. But there are such great details and I want you guys to be able to see them. So I'm going to try to show them to you the best way that I can right now. Let's start with the uh, Wet Bandits truck that you can put them inside, which the top does come off. And you can see a little bit of their treasure in there. So this is the entrance to the front door, which you can see there are stairs going up there. I love the M detail there. And opening up over here, we have the Empire State Building, which is an homage to the second movie where he is home alone in New York. So I'm going to show you without the light that this does turn. So you get like the party scene with the uh, train. And using my light, I'm going to try to show you a really cool detail. In the back there, you can see that there is a box of this actual Lego set as a gift, which is so fun and cute. 
Opening the other side on the bottom, you have a poster of the Paris Eiffel Tower, which uh, the reason why this is kind of fun is because that is where the family is going in the first movie. So back in here again, I will turn the light on in a second, but I did want to show you that this also turns. And in the back, you can see that Kevin is eating his macaroni and cheese. There's a fan and a clock that tells you it's almost nine o'clock, which is when the wet bandits come. Way in the back there, you're gonna see that there is a kitchen and we will get to that in just a little bit. The attic opens up like this, which is really fun. And in the attic, there is a spider web for the spider, which you're gonna see downstairs. Kevin's battle plan, there is a soda. And then over here is this like vending machine, gumball machine thing, and the bed that Kevin stays in. So let's take off the roof so you can see the rest of it. So I always think Buzz's room has a lot of fun details, but you're gonna see um, there's already a bunch of stuff on the floor. And that is because there's this really fun mechanism I'm gonna show you in a minute, but there is his rifle. And on his desk, there's a poster or like a box for Duncan's toy shop, which is the toy shop from the second movie. And over here on the wall is a picture of his girlfriend. But here is the mechanism of how this works. So you pull this out and all the drawers come down. Moving on over, you're going to see the spider, the paint can that falls down the stairs, and then a picture of different people on each side. And then inside the parents' room, yeah, there's an alarm clock and popcorn. In the bathroom, there's Kevin's toothbrush. Now I'm gonna flip it around so you can see the basement and the kitchen. On the back part, I have placed the guy from next door, but there is doors leading here and as well as the little doggy door from the first movie. I had to take the roof off this one too, because again, it's really, really hard to see. We have some pizza from Little Nero's and a TV. There is also a microwave over there. And then over here, which is actually really fun, that's the fridge. So if you open the fridge, and let's see if anything fell out. Yep. There are boxes of... macaroni and cheese. You see this right here in the top of the chimney? It is a camera, so you can see that this little thing turns and it's supposed to let it down and it actually comes, and it actually comes out right there. So I need to try to get my light in here. This is just the washer and dryer and then this furnace. So this might actually be the one thing about this that I think is totally ridiculous. So that furnace actually lights up, but you can't get your finger in there in order to do it. So let me see if I can do it from the back door. Yeah, I can't even do it. Basically, you're supposed to be able to get your finger back there. I can't. Let's, let's try it taking off the top. All right, so you can basically make it light up like this. Now, in my opinion, I think it is supposed to come off because if you see, the edges are just like two pieces of Lego. It's not connected all the way down. So I think that's supposed to make it easier for you to get to these different parts of the house more easy. But that is the back part. Let me show you the tree house because that's the last part. This is the tree house. You have the harness that Kevin uses to get into the tree house from the top window there and a little flag. It's just really cute. I like it. So that is the end build. It took so long to do this and then it took me so long to recap it afterwards and I'm sorry it was kind of a little dark. I tried my best but it was a really fun build and I'm really glad I did it. So stay tuned next week until we have a fun exciting build for you then.